Welcome, welcome to Thoughts Roundup. Thank you for being with me today. Well, I have a <laughs> preacher here, uh, Huber. Huber, H-U-B-A, kind of like Cuba. Huber. Yep, kind of like Cuba, Cuba. With, with an H. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yep. Well, it's so good to see you, and folks, one reason why I'm asking him to come on the program is because, one reason, because great preaching today. Thank you, sir. This man preached here uh, for Brother Smith in South Carolina, Columbia, and he, you did an outstanding job. Thank you. And uh, I, wanted, I wanted you to come on also because you were a student. <laughs> yes, sir. I was uh, a teacher at IBC, mm -hmm. and you were a student. Yes, sir. Two thousand. Two thousand. I was yes, fixing to say what year? Two thousand was my first year, fall of two thousand, and then um, I left in two thousand and three. Yeah. Did your wife? Go there. Yes. So. Yeah. I, I, like the classic age will tell. I'm sure that uh, it's not been done before, right? Where you meet your spouse at Indiana the, Bridal College, as they say. Apostolic <laughs> Bridal, <laughs> Bridal College. College. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, it's worth the trip, was it? It sure was. I got plenty from that school. Plenty. Now, where do you live now? <clears throat> I actually pastor here in Columbia as yes. well. Yes. The northeast side of town. Yes, Where is this? Northeast, Northeast Columbia. of in Columbia. Yes, sir. Well, it's no so nice that y'all are able to get together and yeah. visit Amen. and preach for each other yes, and, sir. and that sort of thing. Now, where was your wife from? Uh, she was born and raised in Joliet, Illinois. And oh. once she left Joliet, she went to Indiana Bible College. And to give you the, the 10 cent tour, I... <clears throat> met her at IBC and we dated and got engaged and um, we married. Uh, she, she graduated school in 2003 and um, after she graduated I married her in September of 2003 and we moved, I moved her back to my hometown which is in Barberton, Ohio. Out of the Paymer Oh, church. Paul. Paul, yep. yeah. Yes, Paul. Yes, Paul, sir. I was wondering today when you was talking, talking if that's who you were talking yes, about. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Paul is one of my finest, finest friends. Yes, he's. he's I love he's, Paul he's, Pamer. Yeah. I want to tell you, he has been so kind yeah. to me. That's good. Now, my wife was from Illinois, from Moline. Okay. And we met it, met it apostolic at yeah. ABI. ABI. Yeah. Okay. yeah, up in Minnesota. Okay. And uh, so we've got something here in common. <laughs> but, uh, it's a good our, trend. Oh, yeah, it's a true. good trend. That's where I met her. I wish Paul Paper was sitting right here with us. Uh, I mean, too. I love him dearly. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to, to be with him later on this year, actually. You know, he was, I have made 500 and about 25 or 30 of these programs, and Paul was on really? one of them. Wow. You go back, I don't know how you yeah. do it, but you go back and find Yeah, him, I will look for it. Uh, in there. Uh, so, in case anybody, I never do say this, you can listen on Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost Radio, or either you can find it by O.C. Marler on uh, YouTube. And uh, so that would kind of, if you're first time catching them, Program. Well, how long have you been preaching? Well, I after IBC, after marrying my wife, yeah. I came back to Barberton for two years, and I assisted Paul Pamer, uh, and he was a youth pastor, and so we did whatever we possibly could within the youth. Yeah, team. yeah. Uh, but then I have two uncles who pastor in Florida. I have one who pastors in Tallahassee, Florida, and one in Newport Ritchie, Florida. And at the time, um, the uncle that was in Tallahassee, Florida, Daniel Huba, he was, um, their, their church had a great youth pastor. And at the time, uh, that youth pastor was looking to transition somewhere else. 
and they were in need of another youth pastor. And so me and my wife prayed about it. And of course, it was family, and we wanted to help family. Yeah. And so we moved down to Tallahassee. Um, I would say really that that was the really the catapult of being thrusted in ministry yeah. quite a bit. Um, starting you know, there, I'd say 2005. Since 2005, I've been teaching Bible studies, you know, uh, preaching, teaching all sorts of stuff, doing every everything is possible. Toilet cleaner, uh, I've done it all. Well, that goes with it. Right? Yes, it does. It does. It sure does. <laughs> well, now uh, you know uh, Paul Paymer's grandfather. Mm -hmm. I preached in the church when he was the, he. He wasn't actually pastor. Paul's dad was okay. a pastor. Yeah, Nelson Pamer. Rod Pamer. Rod. Yes. Rod yes. Pamer. And then the elder Bishop. Elder Nelson Nelson Bishop. Yep. He was there. Okay. Now he's passed away, has he? Yes, sir. That's who I refer to today. He passed away in October of 2021. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. I go up there ever so often and uh, once I'm going out to eat with Brother Paul and one time I went to his house to eat mm -hmm. and when my wife passed away of course he came down yeah. he's always so supportive yeah. of that he's a real friend <clears throat> oh he's a great guy yeah. they went through such tragedy we're losing their daughter yes. all of that but they're just great people yeah yeah so Brooks you, Gray. Like they were saying, Louisiana, you come from good stock. <laughs> yeah, I believe that. I you believe come that. from good stock. I, I, I'm, I'm, it's an honor to be where I'm from. And so I, how did you get here? So after uh, I, I spent about six years uh, youth pastoring in Tallahassee, then I felt led to be an assistant pastor in the Daytona Beach area. I was there for about two years, and then I, I also looked to start a church in the Orlando area. Um, we moved to Orlando for another two years, but uh, just it wasn't the will of God, the perfect will of God, I guess. And uh, a church came open here in Columbia, and we prayed about it, and we came and tried out. And all, as they say, all those things aligned, and God was in it. And we fleeced God about all those things, but He just kept answering, and we find ourselves here in Columbia. We've been now here about eight years a little, little under eight years you won't find a better place to live i agree than south carolina i love it i i so when i youth pastored in tallahassee yeah tallahassee is the capital of florida and they have the the fsu florida state university yeah well when i came here we have you know the uh, the gamecocks and yeah. the university here and i felt i felt so similar capital city of a state and their, their colors are actually very similar yeah. and it just it kind of felt like home a little bit in our yeah. little season of our life so we felt it we loved it and uh, again I, I can understand why Pastor Smith here has been here for so many years doing an incredible work and uh, we're grateful to, to be here with them in, in the city doing yeah. the best we can yeah well I'll tell you what uh, it's just so nice to to meet new people and I heard you preach today and I want to go on record to say you preach super. I nice. preach that that is high honor. You won't have to preach that anymore. I'll take it. <laughs> okay. Yes sir. I'll yes, take sir. care of it. Okay. Yes sir. That'll kind of get the burden off of you. Okay, thank you very much. I appreciate that. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate that. Well thank you so much for being on the program. I'm honored. And we'll, maybe we'll get to see you. Yes, sir. Uh, I tell you another reason why we know that South Carolina is a good place to live. Everybody from New York and California uh, are have moved into the little town where I live. Yeah. it's something else. You live near the Greenville area, right? Yes, yeah, uh, I live in a place called Great Court. Okay, and it's not far from Simp Simpsonville. Yes, beautiful area. Yeah. Oh, they're it, moving it's in. It's blown there. up there. Yeah, I've seen. Yeah. It. Used to everybody would uh, when you was traveling make a turn need to make a turn they'd right. say come on come on right. now they blow the horn. <laughs> <laughs> there's a there's a really good um, taco place I eat there every time I travel up it's uh, I forget the name of it but it's in a little food court there's a, a food lion 
off that exit in Simpsonville. You may know what I'm talking about, but yeah, I like, know about where you, I know about where you go. Yeah, yeah, but it's uh, we stop yeah, there yeah. every time and grab a bite to eat. Well, you'll have to call me and see if I'm home. I will absolutely. Well, thank you for being on the program. Absolutely. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you for listening.